All right, let's take a look at their behinds. All right, guys, here they are. Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin. If you're meeting me for the first time, of course, you're not seeing my face. I thought it would be nice before I unbox this one proper. Since it's brand new, we haven't unboxed it yet. This one we have, check out the video. I'll put the links here or in the description as well. And um, yeah, starting with this size, the tilter is smaller. They both um, the boxes looks good. And let's get on to this small, to the mini. I guess this should be called the small rig, right? Whoa, this is good. Now I know this is really small. Let me turn it down to you. Uh, yeah, this is the definition of compact. Yes, 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 I like it, I like it. All right, so let's take out the parts. Test. So we have 77, we have 82. Um, 67, the same thing, 72, okay. They both don't have the 95 one, but they have the options of buying two screws, two Allen keys here, one big, one small. Well packed away. And uh, they have this. Oh, okay. And then this thing. So obviously this is a different approach of mounting. I noticed that for the mounting of this, it's a different approach. Okay, but I can see how it works. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Then the box itself. Wow, this is, this is really small. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm, is this for real? <laughs> this is this is crazy. What? This thing looks like a toy. It feels like a toy. Can you see that? This like this like buying a toy like a toy version for my kid. Is this real? And this looks a little bit smaller. Uh, we will have to do some tests now. We have the Sigma here. This is 72, so I'm going to try out the 72 millimeter thread. We'll have to lock it in. This is, this is good. But I wonder how much light it will cover when it's just so, I won't say small, but portable. It feels solid. This is not something that the wind will take away. Like, yeah, it feels solid and compact. But you know, if you want to rock on a gimbal, this will be the way to go. So nothing else to talk about here. And besides, go to the field and actually experiment. Oh, there is a, there's a cold shoe mount here. That's good. Now, please excuse me. I have never seen one of these before. I bought it just to make this comparison and see if I can use it on the on my camera B, my old school set. Okay, feels mm, 72. Uh oh, four by four will not work. So this is a no no. It's gonna make you spend more. 
by not uh, allowing this glass. Alright, so this one is already fixed. Um, you can screw it a lot tighter with your Allen keys if you want it tighter, but I think it's just all right. You could just enough to move the way you want it and it will stay in place. This one, however, it's got a lock here, which you can um, open to make, it, to make it fall or lose, or make it really, really tough. You know, I think this is good. If you leave it on this side, it is loose until you take it to the other end. So at this point, this is locked, okay? So it is has enough tension unless you want to go in here and screw some more. But this is this is good enough. In fact, it's stronger now than before. I think, I, I guess I didn't know what this was used for. So this is the same lock. They both have a lock there. This is the locking mechanism. Okay. Um, why for this, it's more like a screw on. Okay, you screw and still lock. Same thing, same thing. Let's see. Now about the fabric. This feels like plastic. I think it is plastic. And then there's metal. Um, This is definitely plastic. This could easily break. Not easily though, not easily though, but I mean, if it falls, you could have a tear here, okay? And then it's um, lined with uh, uh, like a stronger plastic. And then these are metal rings, metal, and this is carbon fiber. This is way bigger. And it's all carbon fiber. Well, not all. It's just more. This and all this. Now, this part is metal, not plastic. I don't think there's no plastic here. There's no plastic here. All right, let's take a look at their behinds. We see how wide is the hole. This can take a hundred and yeah, um, fourteen millimeters, uh, which is standard uh, industry standard lenses, and this will take ninety-five. So, in terms of weight, this is definitely <laughs> this is definitely lighter. Almost two times the weight. That should be expected. Now let's find out how these do. Okay, I ordered for the uh, adapter for this don't come with the mat box. So you have to get that one separately. Um, and that would thread thread uh, this lens in. So this is my documentary go-to lens, and uh, let's get in on the mat box. So you have to buy this one separately from Smorik. Okay. All right. Already modded this to um, converted this to EF lens from TL. So, um, if you want to find out about that, you can watch, watch the video in the link the description or, or link right here. There we go. This is the, the glass that speaks in volumes. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no! 
what's going on? 86. It is 95 wide, but the thread is 86 inside. So it means we'll not be testing with that today. We'll be testing instead with this guy. So this is common to both of the mat boxes, so perfect to test them both. Okay, sounds good. And here we go. And we have a secure lens. Let's go outside. Let me break this down as fast as I can. They are both the same price. What's really the value for money here? I think it's money because buying that will secure you for the future. If you buy small rigs now and you plan to grow into um, cinema lenses in the future, you are covered. But um, Tilter was just for now and convenience. So I think I'm gonna keep both of them because there will be times I need each of them. Um, I know that I'll be using the small rig more. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, which you'll be going for. And as always, the links will be in the description. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, like, share. Yeah, it will help. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.